what's up guys and welcome to the channel I have a surprise to show you we have a new project here on the channel it is a 1940 Chevy Master Deluxe it is a car from the Jersey Shore and we don't have a ton of history on the vehicle but are from a woman whose father owned the vehicle. It has a Corvette in line six. It's got an Offenhauser intake with three carburetors on it. We'll go into detail a little bit more about the car as we go along. Just wanted to give you a quick walk around at the condition that it's in as we picked it up. Uh, there is a bunch of rust and raw considering this vehicle is 80 years old i really can't complain it is a solid solid survivor we'll leave it at that so in a rush of getting it home yesterday we did film a bunch but after we got back to the shop it was very late and with all the excitement we didn't really film much uh, I just cleaned out the mouse nests and the parts that were in the trunk. We went over and took out all the plugs. The motor does spin over. It's soaked with Melvin Mister Oil and all the carburetors and the intake. We soaked the, uh, all the cylinders down. It does spin over with the starter. The starter does function. The floor starter button does still work. It's got some inner fender rod on it. We'll get into a little bit more detail in a little bit. But here she is, 40 Chev. Originally this car was a amazing, I'm sure, three on the tree, but it has since been converted, thankfully, to a four speed. I'm assuming with the Offenhauer intake, Offenhauser intake, excuse me, and that's when they probably swapped out the transmission. Thankfully, the clutch pedal was down all the way, so nothing seized. The vehicle rolls. It was a black car. This car is a black 1940 Chevy Business Coupe Master Deluxe. All the trim is somewhere in the trunk. I took it out. This car has been sitting for years. There's a hole in the floor over here. We've got our rot in both of our running boards. Nothing really bad. This door is solid along the bottom and the top, the driver's door. However, the passenger door bottom is gone. There's a hole in both corners of the roll pan and the bottom. There's a couple spots in the back, which you can see ground there, but it's really, this car is a solid, solid car, considering all the original interior pieces are in there. The windows that are in the back function, everything seems to function to an extent, very decent. Let's take a look inside at this amazing survivor of a car. I just got a huge rat's nest out of here. That was the largest one was in there. It does have the deluxe package for the heat. This car is very, very, very weathered, but of course, there are keys in the ignition. Yes, our four speed conversion. Emergency brake still functions in this car. There is one missing switch, which I have. The steering wheel has seen better days, but will be repaired and restored. This was a three speed on the column vehicle, which I am glad it is no longer, but it all retained the original parts. So let's take a look and see what we've got going on in the trunk. So the trunk is really very solid considering the age of this vehicle again this is an 80 year old car the tool tray has some parts that are rotted out 
There's a spot in the bottom. There's a seam here and there. I've seen way, way worse. I mean, this is a solid steel trunk lid. It weighs about a thousand pounds. And this bad boy still latches. So we're missing a rear bumper. The car was originally black. Like I said, it will go back to black. It has dual exhaust. The underneath of this vehicle is also very solid. The frame is not rotten by any means. It's been converted. Nice suspension. The dual exhaust. This car is a solid view. It really is. It is well, well weathered. And it is extremely filthy. Door handles are soaking right now. Bottom of this door, as I said, is gone. As of both running boards are gone. The only piece missing on this vehicle. It's below the Master Deluxe. You have your hood side here. Don't know how it ended up disappearing. But... The owner, I'm assuming uh, this is a very nice young lady, Kim. Kim's father owned the vehicle. And I'm assuming he's the one who named this car Smokey. What's up, guys? We're back. Uh, again, I'm not very good at this filming situation, so we're just going to go for it and we're going to, you know, we're going to work through it together, okay? If you're new to this situation as I am and you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. I have a lot of projects in this shop I'd like to share with you. And there's something for everyone here. Uh, there's no fishing. Sorry, Eric. We don't fish on this channel. All we do is uh, fish for a paycheck, all right? And we're not very good at it. So uh, I want to give you a walk around of our uh, current project that we got going on right now. This, uh, I've done a couple of detailed shots on it, but I have not gone and done a walk around of the vehicle and actually described what it is. So let me tell you real quick what we got going on. Uh, this is my boss's 1959 Chevy Apache. It came in with a blown small block uh, Corvette motor in it. So it's already had a V8 conversion. Uh, we've done a lot of work to this vehicle. Personally, I've put in every wire in this vehicle, which is a nightmare. Uh, it already has a 12 uh, circuit speedway universal harness in it we've adapted to an I did it column which is tell uh, tilt and chrome with an amazing mahogany steering wheel there's a Dakota digital dash in here again I'll get into a little bit more detail of this vehicle uh, when we have some better lighting in here uh, the vehicle itself came in with a bad motor and hacked up wiring so the boss liked this seat he had this seat redone at the local shop which came out amazing and we redid the gas tank we did the floors we've done uh you know sound sound deadener and things of that nature in there i'll get into this a little bit later on and show you what we've got going on back here uh built a custom panel that sits behind this dashboard that will house and holds every single electronic in this vehicle uh, there are all the relays and things for the LS harness that came in. The Speedway harness fuse block is also up in there. I've got the the ECM for the LS swap is also hidden in there. So obviously you see some stuff left out. That's what I'm working on right now. I'm working through this hot mess of a truck. It is solid, 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 solid vehicle. I know the word solid will come up a lot. Uh, if you notice, the driver's door has a vent window. This one does not. We are in the process of doing a brother's truck's one-piece window conversion. Okay. This truck is from Connecticut. It also travels to Maine. Uh, I did all the parking light bezels and parking lights. I changed those out. We took the battery box out from the firewall and I have relocated it to underneath the floor up in the channel. God, the lighting here is horrible. We'll get a little more detailed shots of this shortly. But this motor is uh, from Turnkey Engines. As a package, it came to LS3 2020 version, brand new, zero miles. This has a 6-speed, six 6L80 six electronic 6-speed behind it, so it's going to be a beautiful ride. I was able to order up 
an LS swap radiator specifically for the LS. Aluminum, came with a fan, came with the shroud, all assembled, nice, ready to go. I have a video of about 17 hours of me running plumbing in this vehicle. Every kind of plumbing you could imagine. 6 a.m. fittings, 8 a.m. fittings, 10 a.m. fittings, fuel. I'll show there's a video clip of that. I'll pop in here at some point. Those took hours to edit, to realize that all I did was put hoses in the car. I did all the power steering lines in there as well. Most of these are hidden into the frame, all the wiring's hidden into the frame. Uh, we've got the steering column adapter we put in. Uh, I did a master cylinder conversion, so the brake master cylinder that was up here was leaking and it was plastic and it was horrendous. So we've got a Russell's braided hose. I've got this beautiful master uh, reservoir that came. There is power steering rack conversion on this vehicle that we did, which we'll go into detail as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. We got rid of that horrendous box that was on the side of the frame. So, considering I'm almost 50 years old and I don't know what the hell I'm doing with my life, I love hot rods, I love cars, I love bikes. You know, I have personally had my hand in every single aspect of the build of this vehicle. I came in, we took all the wires out, we took every single wire and bolt and bracket out of this vehicle. I've got an e-stomp emergency brake in this thing, which is electronic. You push one button and it pulls the cable. It's an electronic actuator, which is amazing. It came out beautifully. Like I said, there's our one-piece window conversion that we're in the middle of right now. And we are shortening the brake pedal today. We'll be mounting up our gas pedal today, which is a drive by a wire for the LS3 that's necessary to run. This is still retaining the original window. This is coming out. We'll have these one piece windows, which is, uh, excuse the mess, we're gonna walk over real quick. One piece window conversion from Brothers Trucks is ready to go. That's in pretty assembly right now. Um, there are a lot of bikes around this shop as well. well we've got 1988 uh, Harley David Electri Electroglide. Uh, I've got an O2 Dyna that's in here in the shop right now. Let's get in a six-speed tranny conversion. This is an amazing bike. It is gorgeous. Um, we have got a 1994 Impala SS that's here for interior right now. This is a beautiful car. This car is also for sale because the owner just bought a 1940 Chef. This vehicle is beautiful. It's not amazing by any means, but if you don't own an Impala SS, I do. We'll just leave it at that. This is our 68 GTO. There's our boss. What a great guy. I can't argue with somebody who has uh, a business and is successful in life. This car, you can just smell how original this is and what a beautiful survivor as we always keep saying survivor we're working our way right now through all the parts it was not pretty when it came in motor was number seven cylinder was knocking in the sleeve so they just honed the motor out nothing had to be resleeved or anything it ended up being just some small issues we're currently trying to get this to the original color to original shape this poor motor was sick, very sick. And now it is, uh, is getting healed by Dr. Severio. I do have a small lock Chevy and TH350 that may go into this 40 Chev if I can't, can't get it to do its thing. But um, I don't know guys, let me turn the camera around here. Uh, we're in at eight minutes right now. And I, I can, talk and talk about cars and bikes and stuff uh, we'll, we can always go over the whole entire pile of parts that came in this trunk of this vehicle small block conversion cross member there's a Monte Carlo or G body uh, steering column in here original electric fuel pump we've got a I, I'm assuming that's a uh, an aftermarket fuel filter but there's a uh, 
there's bolt-on V8 engine mount conversion in here in this pile. It's upper and lower control arms and spindles all off some kind of a conversion, steering conversion. There are, I'm going to go through this pile later, we're going to go through what's there, but these, I've got the original spinners for this vehicle that came off of this Jaguar. The most amazing thing I think so far that I found on this are this hubcaps on the car. They're all amazing. I've got one style air cleaner came on here. So let's just take a peek and see what's going on in this soup here real quick. I don't know if you could tell, but so I've got some small two bore carburetors in here. I've got some more two bores here. I swear there's a couple in here that are a single bore. So we've got at least six of the dual bore carburetors. There's two single bores in here. And the motor has the three on there. So all total, I think we have nine carburetors for this vehicle. Plus I've got parts, parts, original. These are probably from the 60s, I would assume, considering it's got rainbows on them, who knows. But there's parts, there's parts, there's parts. This mixing switch from the dash. Turn the camera around again. So we're 10 minutes in. I, I, I'm not really sure where we're at with this. I can continue to show you some more stuff that came out of the car. I've got original parking lights, shift boots, bumper guards. There is about eight sets of mirrors, random mirrors, a bunch of the chrome moldings that are missing off the vehicle because it is a master deluxe. There's some mats and rubber mats. This car was black and it was painted with a 972 cranberry red. There's the back seat which it popped out to give it a good clean. It's covers and then it's covered with a cover. I don't know. Some people would be afraid. Let me tell you, a lot of people would be afraid of taking on a project of this size. To me, I fell in love with this car immediately as soon as I saw it. After speaking with the owner, Kim, and learning that it was her father's vehicle and he had passed on, uh, it, it, I, I love a vehicle that has sentimental value and I do not want to cut this vehicle up by any means. As rusty as it is, it, it needs to be repaired. It needs to be running, it needs to be driving. It has no brakes at whatsoever right now. The clutch pedal's to the floor, the brake pedal's to the floor. Uh, in a rush again yesterday, as we got it off the truck and we got it in here, we did not fail. Just came off the trailer and we returned the trailer. Uh, I did get it to turn over last night with the jump pack and oil in all the cylinders. It does turn over, it spits oil 14 feet across the whole side of the car. So all the carbs are soaking right now. I have to try to get some stuff to happen. I'm going to turn the camera off. We're going to come back shortly. I'm going to try to get some better lighting in here. And I'll take a walk around in the vehicle. It does have a lot of the original wiring in it still. But again, some of the things have been changed uh, when it was converted to this Corvette motor. So uh, let's get back to it shortly. Uh, if you have not subscribed, please tell your friends, anyone you know that's into cars. Everyone is stuck at home right now. My job is currently closed down. Well, luckily, I'm blessed enough to be able to have a vehicle here to keep me busy. So, uh, please share, subscribe. We don't even have a, an idea what the hell we're doing. But this car is going to get clean today. And I'm going to work on these carburetors. And we'll do a little bit of walk around under the hood, maybe, with some better lighting. All right, guys? So, stay tuned to the channel. We'll be back. Thanks again.